-hmm. such that if I do this, for example, I, uh -huh. I, can, oh. I can stop, stop it. it. So, uh, I can stop it. So, uh -huh. if it's, but, but, what I need to do is not check if it contains the mouse. I actually need, I need to rewrite my contains function, actually. Uh -huh. Uh, I, uh, maybe I'll rename it to like on, so it's with on the line. Uh -huh. I, it's, I, I need to check if it hits the line. The line that the user is drawing. Yeah, yeah. So, ah. check if it hits the line. Right? This. So those are moving, and then show me where the line would be. So the line would connect them like that, and uh -huh. it, it, it's, it, they're they're then kind of moved together. Ah, okay. But but then but then the line would also shorten. Uh huh. Does the user? Then, what if? So let's say there are these two, and I drew a line that's like this, and this is moving like this, and this is moving like this. Would it attach to that when it got there, or no? I no, have to draw no, the line. no. I have to start they're, can't, the, the, they're 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 actually multiple. The, the goal of the game is actually more than two. Uh, more than two on the screen. Gotcha. So the idea is you just draw, you, there's a whole lot of these, and anytime I draw a line to connect them, I'm like connecting them and they come together. Yeah, they come Got together. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. After, uh, so, uh, for a while, actually, you're only going to get numbers from one to six. Uh -huh. If you go for enough, you're going to see a negative one and a negative two. So, um... It's kind of like, like you're getting better at the games to go to a higher level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go for even more, then you, then you're going to see, then you're going to see, um, um, four more things. You're going to see a times two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a times three. You're going to see divide by two, uh -huh. and you're also going to see this, like, little thing which is kind of, like, reverses the polarity of the number. Oh, my goodness. Like, so multiplying by negative one. Yeah. Huh. It's, I think it's going to be really fun to play. I think this interaction is... I like this because instead of using, like, a touch, which is what it would normally be, this idea of drawing to connect all this stuff, because yeah. you can imagine the sort of sweeping over it and, like collecting even four of them yeah. together. I think that you just need to figure out what is it that, what once the line connects them, what causes them to move towards each other. Yeah. So you could use like an attraction force or maybe a spring. So they were gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the lines can get curved. So it's a, and they're, they're just gonna follow it. It's like. Oh, like follow it. Like, it's, it's. So you store all the points while the user's drawing and you just move it along the different points. Yeah, yeah, just move. Yeah, it's like, it's, oh, you know, it's, it's like path following. Yeah, you know that? yeah. You know, but it's, it's simple. Like, the path following is kind of really extra complicated because if you just want it, you could just say move. Yeah, move it's, fall, it's, Just move here to here to here to here, here. right? Because instead of like, in, if these are the points, right, if you did path following, you might get this yeah, thing that kind of does like this, whereas you can just say move here. And move exactly. What's that? Yeah, right actually, but actually, that uh, with drawing, I actually uh, that that's what I that's what I do. I actually mm -hmm. see uh, the 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 only thing is, is it's actually many 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 many. Yeah, it's not it's not that like path following, not quite path following because yeah you have many 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 right. points. Right. Which and, and then and then that makes it real smooth. Yes. Yeah. And but I, but I, I it, don't know whether this is an optimal strategy because, because yeah. yeah, the points are just like really can right. be like really close together, which like has an issue. Right. Well, in that sense, if they're really close together, you can just move it from point to point to point. Yeah. Because you're basically just replaying the drawing. Yeah. Because as the person's you're as the user's the drawing, you're collecting all this x yeah. y, yeah. so the circle could just start at the first yeah. move, move, yeah, move, yeah, move, move. So that would be the easiest way to do it. Oh, that would be the, yeah. I think. The lines can get curvy, so you can do like if you if you have a strategy like this, then 
an optimal thing would be something like this maybe. Mm. So, um, oh, so this one is you can move this one around. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so it's, so it's just moving along the line. So basically... <laughs> this is, this is going to be hard, I think. Yeah, this, you think? <laughs> yeah, this is a very hard game. <laughs> I've also got... I've, I've, I've also got some other things. So, for example, I've got... Uh, some... Uh, I've got a library. I, I got this? two libraries already. Right. I know about your speech library. What's the other one? The, the, uh, this, this is the other oh, one. Oh, right. You made one for decision trees. This is where you make things before I get to them. Where did you learn about this? <laughs> this is... I learned about this... Oh, this is amazing. I learned about decision trees... From Siraj. Ah, I've learned okay. about decision trees from Siraj. I, I've watched a. Yeah, so uh, Siraj has a course called uh, The Math of Intelligence. Yeah. I, uh, is, I think. I think it has like. Uh, in a week six. Uh, it's about random forests, which actually are basically just a, a lot of decision trees. And did you write this documentation? Yeah, I write. Oh, all the documents. It's amazing because you know it's like hard to remember to like not just write the code but also document it in a way that makes sense so other people can use it. Yeah. So yeah. So. Has any? Do you know if anybody's used this yet? Uh, I can see that. No. I. I. Uh, this is actually my first library that uses unit testing. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> actually, my first. So yeah. So I've oh, and it's linked to. Circle CI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, uh, I, yeah. Like. So, what's an example? Like, what's an example project that you? I've I've to? used a, a example project. I've, I've I've made an example project uh, that takes in information about whether it's snowing or not. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> so, um, whether it's hailing or not. Uh huh. Um, whether it's sunny or not. Uh huh. It's sunny. I, I, I don't know if this, this like, this is that logical, but uh, so, whether it's sunny or not. Whether it's windy or not. Mm hmm. And based on and these factors. It's, and, and based on these factors, it, out, it outputs whether it's raining or not. Oh. <laughs> but if it's snowing, can it be raining? If it's snowing, ah. Uh, In Amsterdam, yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I I I use I use a watch uh, for uh, the Right. Okay, so uh, this this snowing, I uh, I uh, 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 it's a little not logical because right. if it's snow, if it's snowing, it cannot be healing. But yeah, so so it should. Right. So, so they. And the API is, well, this is good. it's good to use examples like this, which are almost tell stories. So, I mean, it helps if the story makes sense. But, yeah, so <laughs> but here you say, add question. So you give it the question name. and then the name. And then... I, uh, uh, th this is the condition. The condition. And then you go to the next node. which So there has to be a no So you, you, you add this question. Yeah, this is the condition is true. This is if the condition is not true. Got it. So, so if it's so if it, it is snowing, you go to it is hailing. If it is hailing, you go to it's raining. If it's n uh, if it is not snowing, you go to is it sunny. And if it is sunny, you go. If it's not sunny, you go to is it windy. I see. This is cool. Yeah. It also might be interesting to. Um, well, I guess you visualized it here. Did you make this diagram? No, no. This is actually a different example. Gotcha. This is it. Ah, uh, so something that might be helpful too when you're documenting it is to have the diagram match the code example, because then people can sort of see, oh, I understand this diagram, and then you can sort of see... Uh, I, I'm code. actually... No, uh, no, I, I was unable to make a, a, a di diagram. Uh, diagram. So I 
was unable to make a diagram, which yeah, it's it's kind of. But you could make a you could make a JavaScript program that just whatever you write into the decision tree, it makes oh, the diagram actually, for you. Oh, actually, that's a, that's a, that's that's. <laughs> you don't have to, I, I, you don't have, to I, I have another cool idea. <laughs> I, I have another cool idea. Uh, I have another cool idea. <laughs> we have a like uh, uh, an article cool idea is like a text editor. Uh huh. For this library. Oh. Well, and, oh. Uh, and that's another cool idea. It, it like, you have like this like little view which like shows right. the decision tree that right. you're making. That's, right. <laughs> that, that would be a cool idea as well. So, uh, yeah, and you know, there's a project. Actually, I just saw a woman. Her name is Kate Compton. Let me show you her website. Mm. Galaxy Kate. Oh, I'm not going to be able to type this in. Galaxy Kate dot com. Where's the dot? <laughs> the dot is shift and then so okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, my students all have keyboards with different languages, and I'm always doing this. I can only use my. Um, so she makes projects that kind of like w one thing. This reminds me of is a project she made called Bottery, Bottery. which is like a finite state machine. I don't know where. Let me. But um, uh, let me search for Bottery and GitHub. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here it is. 